like to call this meeting to a meeting to order in the first order of tonight's business, the pledge of allegiance. Agenda. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So carried. Has everybody had a chance to check over the meetings and regular council meeting from last month? Any additions, deletions, anything? Get a motion to approve? Motion to approve. All council. second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. The list of claims for July 2019. Anybody have a chance to look them over? Any questions? Motion to approve. I'll second. We have a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So carried. To accept the financial statements for the general water sewer funds for July 31st, 2019. I'll make that motion. Second. Get a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. I want to make a little note on that. If you, uh, if you paid attention to the water fund, uh, we, we are gaining strongly on that. Now we're just going to have a break even point on that. So we pulled it out of the deficit now. So hopefully it'll be. It's like we haven't had any big breaks. <laughs> Well, we've got money set aside for the breaks, but it's more of a monthly thing. It's, yeah. A, yeah, it's a monthly billing. So anyway, we made a great headway in the last, well, slow but sure, but it, we gained on it now. So anyway, moving on to resolution 2019-06, accepting donations to support in your days. Um, Whereas the City of Rainier holds an annual summer festival, Rainier Days, and whereas business provided monetary donations to sport festivals, Rain Lake, which is RLB, RLB Incorporated, Eric Johnson donated 600 in memory of Carl Brown and Rural Fire Protection also donated $500. And I'd like to give a personal thanks to those people. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Council of the City of Rainier that we accept a generous donations in support of Rainier Days. Motion to approve. I'll second. We're in motion second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So carried. I'd also like to make a little note there. Uh, I want to thank uh, Todd's business. Uh, he donated the, uh, the, the ingredients for the successful pancake feed that they had. And from what I understand, you made about $900, or just shy of $900. And that was donated by Todd's business, so thank you goes out to Todd for that too. And Wilbur did a bunch of work on it. I'm sure other people, but appreciate the effort. Another successful venture. So thanks again on that. Now I'll sign this too. Okay. Moving on uh, uh, to accept the July 2019 liquor store operating statement. Motion to approve. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? So carried, I think, for the audience uh, information. We made a little over $8,000 clear last month, so that was a very good month for us. And things are turning around there, and it's working really good, so she's doing a great job for us. Um, Building Street Grounds, Casa 20, Spruce Street. Uh, John? Um, I don't know, it was like a couple weeks ago now that Bob and I went to the uh, Cochrane County uh, Council board members and they've uh, approved to move forward with uh, the parking that they're going to, that they talked about in front of Mooney's and, and then a little bit in front of Paul Becks and stuff. And then we had a pretty long discussion about the four-way stop that we had talked about and the county's going to go ahead and put in a resolution to the state because the state is in charge of that. But they figure that it's uh, probably slim to none that will get four-way stop. He said the only way we get it is if there was uh, 
traffic count or if somebody gets hurt. So before they'll do anything, somebody's going to get hurt. Um, I still think we should try to, if nothing else, we should still try to push for uh, speed bumps or something because today, today one of the vans that deliver people to CN went by my house, I'm not kidding you, about 70 miles an hour. Oh, really? Um, how about the painting too? Did they talk about crosswalk on the painting? Yeah, you know? yeah they were definitely they the that. lines. They do them in a series of areas and we just weren't on that agenda early in the year. But yeah, it was kind of, just because it's a county road, it's still up to the state to put up the stop signs. So they're going to write up a resolution and try to do it. Well, you know, uh, we have this, uh, it's, it's coming up right, right here, the, the next, uh, on the next agenda, the next item on the agenda is the MnDOT ARDC transportation plan. And that's exactly the items, things are like that. How to control the speed coming into some of these state aid, these state highways, uh, implications that, you well, know, because that's, that's what they, they address. If we can do that, we should probably put in there for our area that we have the park right there, we have the bike trail, that you have to cross the highway to get to the, to well, the park. I think, and, I think that's exactly what, you know, the, what, I guess it kind of incorporated into that plan and they're going to be coming here and we want to make sure that we can give our input not just for this area but uh, any, anything else along this Highway 11 corridor that we can see that may have any uh, influence on the um, traffic or, or, or how the how traffic is controlled here. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know a suggestion I'm going to be a light on the other east side of the at the bridge to make it where people wear that. So, um, okay, well, we, and they are moving ahead with the, the parallel parking. Yes. And they school. said once they get it finalized, they would come to our meeting, and if there's any changes that had to be made, or right. they approved it. I know that they only had like 26 spaces. Didn't we have more than that on the, the new one? Uh, you know, I had talked to um, uh, the, the, the assistant engineer there. Uh, is it Hasbargan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I know. Trent Nicholson. Or Nicholson. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry. Nicholson and Trent. And um, the, on, the, on the drawing you see was the area in front of Paul Becks and. Uh, was that discussed because it, yep, yep. there was three or four extra there? Because I know we had discussed that in, in the semester. So uh, when they get right down to it, we'll, we'll, I guess they'll let it and, you know, if they can shorten up the radiuses on some of them, we may squeeze another one or two. But 26 areas just on that short little stretch is a lot of good improvement parking. So they thought it was a good plan. We thought it would help out all the businesses, the people. So I think it's going to be a go. Yeah. We, I, I, I encouraged him too to try to let the contract as soon as possible. I know he has about a, a time frame he has to submit the plans to the state, to the state for approval, and then there's a waiting period of, of approval, and then there's an advertisement period, and then there's the, the actual bid award, and then the construction after that. But it would be nice. Uh, I encouraged him to. Uh, Try to get it going this year, even if the completion date's next year, uh, he could get you know concrete work done because you can do concrete work late in the fall and get the curb and gutters in and get the sidewalks in and stuff. And if they have a little blacktop patching between the curb and gutter and the existing blacktop and uh, like that, that could be uh, completed next year. So I hope, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, they go ahead with that. And, uh, and move forward with it yet this year, so the way to be seen, I guess. So, okay. Um, and the next, I guess, we covered is the, the MnDOT ARDC transportation plan, and we'll need a motion on that. Uh, there was a 25 day request of $2,500 from the city. Uh, it's a private uh, engineering firm that is contracted to the state of Minnesota to assess some of the uh, issues along the highway that can be incorporated into the master traffic plan that the state has uh, going. So I think there's some, like I said, that 
just, just the issue like you just had. Yeah. That's a perfect example. Another one, uh, you know, we probably should need a light on the east side of the, of the thing so that people are aware of the, uh, you know, the drain. And, and, and it, it goes all over the lake, so anything, uh, you know, lighting, you know, some of these intersections, things like that. And we brought that up, to, you know, and, and we got a resolution on Chapel Lane. But that was part of this project. So, or drainage issues that cause any, any, you know, causing us any problems or other people. So, so I think that's a worthwhile venture. So, I'm glad you guys approved that. And uh, can we a motion to approve? I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Opposed? So carried. Uh, next order of business it will be the hockey boards. I've received three quotes, as you know, the city of uh, the school district had donated the International Falls Bronco boards to us there. And um, uh, you know, the rec hockey has donated some money to uh, erect these boards and everything. So I went out and solicited some quotes and, and received three quotes uh, uh, for, the, for the project. And right now, l and L Construction uh, is low for for the project, and uh, I think we should move ahead with that. Um, and uh, I make a motion for, uh, I, I would recommend that we accept their bid uh, for it. It's around $20,000. We had three bids, the highest one was 56000 but that included the uh, setting the glass, so um, there isn't quite that much difference. Uh, but they were, they would, if they would have set all the glass on the ends and everything, it'd be like twenty-two thousand, and the high bid was fifty-six. And there was one right around forty-some forty thousand. So, um, have they done it before? Oh yeah, they've done concrete work before. They're doing a lot of concrete work. But, um, no, I mean just as far as setting up the rings. You know, I don't doubt if they set any rink boards up. So, but obviously we'll, we'll have to watch them. I mean. It's, <coughs> Uh, pay attention to them. So, see how they, they go. The boards are going to fit. It's how they anchor them to the, and, and they're putting a two foot, the, the specs are the same as a two foot wide footing, one foot thick, to excavate it, put a little gravel underneath, and mount the boards on it, and then backfill it. So, it's pretty cut and dried. And then we have an option if we want to put glass on top to whether we decide to do that or not. but. We can put it on the ends, or you can put it full width. Uh, yeah, I think we've got the glass with everything except mm -hmm. the players' boards. And I think there's even glass behind them, if I remember yeah, right. So yeah, we took it all. I think it depends on how, how, how we want to do it. I, I think glass on the end may be fine, you know, save a lot of bucks. But yeah, I think the outside, say, on the ends would be about the best because yeah, uh, I can remember when we were kids shoveling it off. <clears throat> It'd be pretty hard to shovel that snow. Yeah, over yeah the you, 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 you wouldn't be able to use the snow. I we think we need the ends. We, we need the sides open because yeah. uh, we, we wouldn't have no way of. Well, we'd have to push it and suddenly yeah. yeah. There's a uh, winger there now, right? Yeah. What was that? Bob? A mesh back there now, right? Yeah, there's something back there. There's still mesh. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken wire. I, I think uh, I'll, I contacted the. Uh, Buddy and, and uh, the other fellow uh, this morning, or was it yesterday morning? That we we'll probably start working getting the boards down so that you know. They, so that's one of the projects that the sewer and water crew or the street crew. This will be the same size we got there now. You know, it'll be the size of the boards we're in Bronco Arena, whatever, whatever. And just, we'll I think it's really close. It'll be a regulation side. It's real close. Yeah, we'll so. Whatever was in Bronco Arena is what it'll be. I'm, I'm sure it'll be a foot or two different somewhere, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think it'll be a drastic change one way or another. Yes. Mr. Cole, that you got from the low bid, did that include taking down the boards? Because I believe the biggest coal. Excuse from, me. What was that? Did the coal from the lowest bid include taking down the old boards? Because I believe the highest bid did include that. Uh, I have the quote of the high bid right there, and. Uh, No, the high bid is in order to remove existing existing rink. So it didn't include it. Uh, this one didn't include either. Low bid, none of them included removing the boards. And 
I don't think that's could be that big a deal there. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Body and yeah, so I can come up too. Mm -hmm. I could come up too. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't think it's going to take that long. So it's just part of what we can do. So the only bad thing is that they're much longer. I don't know how much room there is from this would be on the west east west side towards headlands if there's that much room between the rock and the boards now well we could we can set that in first bob we, we dig that out set that in first and we can go go east and if there's not enough room you can always leave one section out i think they're four foot if i if i remember right about four foot sections but you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but I think if we start on the east end, like you said, or the west end, where the rock is, or close to it, get that first, and then, and then just work your way east, so uh, hopefully it'll work. I'm sure it will. I mean, we, we can adjust it if we have to. Just leave one board out if we have to. Or, or lengthen it going east. We have um, funds in our general fund that have been allocated to the boards, too. And okay. I think it's like, I want to say it's close to 10 grand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Didn't we apply for five thousand dollars or something? The rec club was that was something the rec club was going to do. Okay. The grant. Mm -hmm. We know they were waiting on the quotes. We were waiting. Couldn't raise the grant for whatever we were going to do. Okay. Okay. Yes, we will be ready. So, so yeah. we do have to pull in. Uh, so, if you want to write the grant yeah. and, and take it to uh, this county CD, yeah. yeah. So appreciate it. So you just have to get, get me the quote and I'll get to it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, okay. he was supposed to deliver it. I think he might have delivered it to our office. I, I didn't okay. have time. I got late tonight, so I told him to make sure to bring it in so I could get it. That's where the other two were, so I looked at them. Okay, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, we got it. We got well, we got a motion on transportation plan. So on uh, hockey boards, uh, we probably should get a, a motion on accepting old bin. I'll make the motion to accept a little bit on the hockey boards. Second. We have a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Thank you. I got one other thing. Yes, sir. It's that time of year again. We've got to start thinking about the budget. <laughs> you got to think about the, the budget awesome. for next year's budget? Wait. Or, it's pretty much done, but I don't have the, uh, we don't have the, right. the, the numbers from the county yet. So probably October? Um, usually September. we start in September after we get the numbers, then okay. we'll start in September. I just know it's going to be that time of year. Yes. And I do have a couple of things that I want to um, just let you know about that um, the funding came through for us to do our pod model daycare down at Little Fork. So we are proceeding ahead with that. So if you know anybody who wants to become a provider, um, to please get a hold of Renee Whitbeck and start getting the paperwork going. Um, also, we are planning a movie night for September, or movie day for September 7th. And we have five movies scheduled um, for the family and it's a free will donation. However, you do have to buy your pop and popcorn and pizza will be sold during the, the movies and they start at 10.30, 10.45 in the morning. And there's five movies set up. We have Ice Age 2, E.T., Harry Potter, The Muppets, and Mrs. Doubtfire. So um, it should be a great day for your kids, and, and there's five different movies to choose from, and it is free will offering. And that money goes to the Child Care Initiative. So um, it's wonderful. It will help buy supplies that are going to be needed and whatnot. So um, yeah. what is that, join? September 7th. September 7th. You guys put flyers on the papers? We have some flyers. It's, on Facebook, I, it's on Facebook, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it should be awesome. It's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, one thing I, I know we brought up at the meeting in the whole that we're going to have a meeting uh, concerning the um, a boat landing, and when we get our agreement with the state, then we can uh, get the agreement from the state. We'll get it signed, and then we'll get a take it to the engineers and, and get a, a preliminary uh, plans. And once we get that hand, then we'll see what the time frame it is to get some of that in hand. So then we can have a meeting with the information. Otherwise, it's what we're going to do. This will be actual. What we'll be able to look at something. So. Once we get those uh, that agreement in hand, we'll contact the engineers and then uh, proceed with the with the drawing and, and some 
to raise issues. So, may yes, I bring up one Well, word of it. I just wanted for Radio Rex, we would uh, like to agree that and Source Master for his donations for the Pet Cake Breakfast Feed and Council Member Wilcox at the school. They, um, $901 was deposited to our general fund from that. I think it's the largest donation yeah. we've ever had to the Pet Cake Feed. And we also, Tammy Taylor, which she was here because she does an amazing job with Robert Corner. We had a record number of kids. We do risk as we do babies, so we know how we have 138 kids go to Robert Corner on Saturday. So. Wow. Yeah, I think it's probably our most successful rainier days and since I've been involved. It, the weather was great and it's just getting a little more every year. The parade was well attended, so it's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yes, Bob. Two things. One is the playground. Mm -hmm. I think that when they did the job, they didn't do the right job. Go down there and you can see the weeds going right through the chips, and it should have been all the chips. You know, we talked this over, we're going to take like full chips out, which was not done. We're going to put new fabric down, which was not done. And new chips were put over the old chips. And I think that the crew should spend the day and get that done right. I mean, the park was well used, and I think it's a safety thing. You know, you go down there and now we got two pile of chips. Yeah, what? what well, you got the old chips, you got the new chips, so it's deeper now. It gets wet, it takes longer to dry out. Well, I, I think, I think, Bob, uh, what we're going to probably do, and I, I haven't thought of too much about the remedies on this, uh, one, we could probably spray it. Uh, any weeds we have this year, but next spring we're going to, because these chips will weather out, and then maybe next spring we either remove the existing chips and put fabric down. Basically, this should be an annual deal because the, the fresh chips, I, when you drive by from the distance, it looks great. So I think we should, every year, we should be putting add, uh, add new chips in every, you know, 1st of May or May 15th, and uh, I think. Uh, Next year, for sure, we have to put new fabric down, remove the old, put new fabric down. I don't think it'll be necessary to remove the fabric on an annual basis, but no, no, you know what I mean? Just yeah. get, get the other stuff off and you get the bulk them off and you just have to shovel them off. If it's easy to shovel. The fabric, it'll be good for five, six years. Oh, more than that. It, it is, uh, you know, that, that, that geotextile that they put under the highways now is. But I mean, that's all you want to come down there is we'll kick some chips away and you will see all the No, I, 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 I totally did that. I, I understand that. I think for the remainder of the year that we only have... Uh, we have a couple of weeks of school, so I was only a few weeks left and we have a few four weeks. I just don't know why we didn't do a good job. When we did it. I don't think it was communicated for the people that did it. The other guy wasn't there. He should have communicated how we wanted it done because we did communicate that at the at the board meeting here. And I don't think Nick gave it to Buddy and John, Bill, Bill, Bill. And uh, but anyway, so Bud's here. What's that? I said Bud's here. I didn't know. Buddy's here. Yeah, no, Buddy's here now. But I I don't think he was communicated on how we wanted it done because. Like I said, we, we should put new fabric under it and do that. So next spring when we do that, and I think we'll just set a you know preliminary date, May 15th or something like that. Remove everything, put new fabric down, and install new chips. And I think every year we have put a, we freshen them up anyway because I know they look it looks really nice when they're fresh. One other thing, ever Ramsey called me. Yes. He said there was a lot of water yesterday or last. Today, running in his yard, you just wondered if you were going to put piping through his yard or to stay the same? Or uh, we were going to basically keep it the same. Uh, I, well, that would be a council decision. I had, Everett had offered us easement. Uh, I'll explain this. Everett offered us easement to run an additional drainage pipe on the west side of his driveway, basically west side of his house, almost on his property line between um, 
Rasmussen. Him and Rasmussen. So there's a kind of a holding pond there, and then it goes through a, about a uh, 10 inch pipe under his driveway and enters into a 15 inch pipe that goes through Dale Johnson's yard. We could, there's a couple options. We could have put a bigger pipe, like a 15 inch pipe under his driveway, which would mean cutting his driveway and sawing 15 inch pipe under his driveway. That would alleviate, alleviate a lot of the water. There's a lot of different volume between the 12 inch and the 15. It's, it's, it's not more than, it ain't like it's three inches. The diameter is huge difference. But Everett said the easiest would be to run a, uh, it was about 180 feet. I went over there and looked at it a couple days. Yeah, and you run it directly to Sad Bay from that hole, so you wouldn't have to cut his driveway or anything. And I thought that was, that was his idea, and I thought it was a great idea. But then I think he wanted $22,000 for easement. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I didn't bring it to the council because, first of all, I told him we weren't going to do anything until we see if this could handle it. And then what our options would be. One would be, a, you know, you could install a 15 inch culvert under his yard. And we could do that. It's just, a, it's only a 12 foot chunk of driveway. Cut it out, put a new one in, black top it. That would probably be the, by far the cheapest. And I think that would eliminate, you know, you, the difference in diameter of, uh, you know, is, is substantial. So uh, we could do that. And I, I think that's the most we should do right now because, uh, you know, we've had torrential rains here. The one time we had it, we had our, what they said, 150 year rain here. I know they were canoeing in front of the uh, county uh, courthouse there. So, you know, you're going to get one of those no matter what way that pipe's in. I don't need to prepare for some Yeah, I drove down the road early in the morning. The ditches all look good. There was water laying around the Everett's property. The rest of it looked good. Yeah. Well, they're not quite done. Uh, Dwayne, I talked to Dwayne today. He's yeah. going to finish the, the project. Uh, he would, would have finished it today, but he's going to finish it up tomorrow. Dwayne Schobel, who says the, he, he's the restoration contractor for Bowman. So he's going to finish it up starting again tomorrow. The rain has set him back a day or two. So I think that job will be complete within the next day or two. Then the grass will be seeded and stuff. Let's so things settle down and see how it works. Yeah, that rain that we got, everything settled, settled in. And it, it, you know, it's you not know, finished yet. It, it looks like it's a good job. I mean, it ain't quite done yet, but it, it's getting there. They did a great job. I think so. I, it, took a, it took long enough, but it, it looks good. Once she turns green. Okay. Anything else? John? Yeah, as far as this um, traffic calming, um, how many roads along here? Speed and whatever. It sounds like men got along very angry. Uh, how about signage? Any signage has to be approved by them as well? Yep. How about um, like a sign that says um, motors shall stop or pedestrians in crosswalk? Maybe maybe they're going to give you those ones that fall. Well, I think that's mandatory. If there's somebody in a crosswalk, mm -hmm. motor is Yeah, they don't. I, I don't know if the sign is there. Uh, all of them have to have this one on the way in, I think. If you have a pedestrian, if you have a pedestrian crosswalk sign, someone's in it, and they drive through that while well, there's somebody in that crosswalk, they <coughs> take I think that's safe session. Oh, it is. It is. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't think you'd need any more signage. We may need the sheriff to enforce that. Well, I, mean, looked, I looked at those when I bought our other signs that we stuck in the middle of the street that they ran over. Um, the, I look at the ones that they have in the falls was, uh, on their streets. They're one hundred and eighty-four dollars a pop for that. Those signs that run right down the middle by Smoky Bear. There, yeah. when there's somebody in the crosswalk, your state law, you stop. The law when I had out here, they ran over both. They did. Oh yeah. Yeah, we had those last year. Remember? Well, it's not our it's not our highway. The county. No, but we can't put it. as a city. Yeah, we can't put it set there. <coughs> What's that? I think as a city, I think we can't put it because I did. I bought. Well, I, I can see it can because the city don't own Highway 53, and they have signs on that too. But well, does uh, does the state allow us to pick where our crosswalks are going to be, or are they? I think that uh, the county one. Yeah, I'm not sure the places that they should be. Right. Yeah, this is, it, it wouldn't be a, 
I, I, I shouldn't comment on it because I'm not sure. I know this is a state aid road, county state aid. Right. The first people we go to is the county, but the state does have funds um, for private That's the territory rights over. I just don't want. I just don't like the aspect of that they're not going to do nothing until somebody gets hurt. Yeah, I don't want some poor little kid running across from the plane to get hit by somebody coming down here 50, 60 miles an hour. It's, yeah, when I go for my walk, I sit there and it was just go right by me. Oh, yeah. That's uh, what we're do do we, the question is, do we have a pedestrian, do we have a pedestrian crossing sign there? No. I don't, okay, can I don't. we request from the county a pedestrian crossing sign at, I know we have one that says at the park? Children plan. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think there's yeah, a crossing sign. It will be two on both sides of the park for sure. Yeah, we put some language on. And I don't care if you put slow children at play or whatever it is, but pedestrian crossing should stop. Man. Yeah. Um, you know, at school zones, do they have to request that? You know, like school zones, we got a 30 mile an hour zone, I guess, in here. Yeah. But at school zones, they, they change that. They do the, the children are maybe present. you could require, uh, inquire if we could uh, request a, you know, a, well, you know, I was going to say 20 mile an hour zone or something, but I did. You, you have to go through a traffic, it's a whole yeah, traffic, traffic, traffic study and all sorts of things. And that's so what they started with. We can, we can, we, we, we can, we, we can request tra uh, pedestrian signs. We can re request pedestrian sign and sign and, 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 and stripe, sure. and stripe. At least start with a pedestrian sign. We used to have a sign out there. Right. Yeah, the Wilbur said it got ran over. Both of them. Both of them. I had one over there by Williams and one over here. Okay. Slow down. I mean, ran them both. Ran them both over. Okay. And anything else? I have your copies of petitions uh, signed in opposition to a boat launch from the river and in support of the public hearing. So I'll leave these copies of Just leave it to the other. Did you hear me? What, what what I said about that? Until we yeah. get a signed agreement, and then we can contract an engineer to give us some right. preliminary drawings. Otherwise, you know, the, again, it's just right. rhetoric right. until then. I still have petitions here. All right. I also did speak with the DNR, and they reported that the boat launch that's down by farther down the river is the least used boat launch of any at all. Yeah. And they reported that they said that a riverboat launch out here would be considered, quote, hazardous. Okay? Cool. What? And they also, they believe that a boat launch on the river at Seven Oaks Park would be, quote, hazardous. Okay? This is direct from the DNR. Okay. They I also you know, question. You know, why don't we just save all that for the hearing or not okay. hearing, the meeting? Because we've talked about this, you know, and I know you've got some of that information, I appreciate it, but it's, we just keep chewing the same stuff every meeting. That's why we want to have a meeting about it, so, so that's fine. Leave the petition, we'll air all this stuff at the meeting. Um, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been in conversations with this basically on a weekly basis with DNR on different issues, different issues on this. So we'll just bring that up at the meeting. I'm not cutting you short, Sue. We're going to have a meeting on this, and I think that's I do the want correct to time to. You don't have any, time, any idea what that meeting might be? We have to get the agreement back from the DNR, and then after that, we'll contact the engineer to draw plans and, and, and draw, draw some plans up to what it might look like, because John was requesting them. And I mean, other people want to see what it looks like so they know what they're talking about. Okay, so when you draw the plans, then is that out of the 200,000? What's that? Does the money to draw the plans by an engineer, is that included in the 200,000, or does that come out of the It'll city? come out of the 200,000, yeah. Yeah, that's, it'll be part. Engineering is for construction, whether it's engineering and construction, that's that's what we have. That's what the grant was for. And whether we spend it, we're not going to spend that much on it. On the, the preliminary drawings, it'll just be preliminary drawings, you know, just so we have a really pretty good idea what it's going to look like or could look like. If we're not going to spend an, ex, uh, an extensive amount of engineering right away because it just could be a waste of money. Just one last question. Was there ever consideration given to putting this 
Bolt Dodge down by the City Beach. Oh, yeah. In the right there, you know, City we, Park. We looked at. We don't, own any, property we don't own any property there that we could access the thing, and I don't think we could. I wouldn't waste my time requesting to put a boat landing on somebody else's property on their city beach when, when you see the resistance we had trying to put a boat latch at our beach, you know. So I think that was a, it was a thought, but it wasn't a very good one. Is it, that's my own opinion, because if, if we weren't going to put a boat landing on our beach, why the heck would anybody want one on their beach? Well, I mean, just, just think about it. Well, their beach is about four times as big. So. And they have more than four times the people on it. Well, you know what I mean? You go down there, that's well, Hardly anybody shows up at that beach. Well, he, he, I didn't request it because I, I, I talked to enough, uh, a couple of the councilmen just on the side about it, and I wasn't going to go to a public uh, council meeting and request that because they said, I wouldn't waste your time coming to a council meeting because they told me how they thought about it. So, anyway. Anything else? Can we, did, what's that? Are we going to get those petitions or not? Yeah, we can. She can leave that there. Yeah. Uh, petitions are like there. Yeah. And we'll keep you notified of what, what, when we get the uh, information. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn.